Have you ever wondered about the intricacies of drilling operations in the oil and gas industry? Specifically, the components that make up the drill string and how they all work together to ensure a successful drilling operation? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, we are diving deep into the world of drill strings. We will explore the various components, their functions, and the importance of design and care in drilling. And remember, the article link is always in the video description for more in-depth information. Don't forget to subscribe for more drilling videos. The drill string serves multiple purposes, including providing a fluid conduit, imparting rotary motion to the drill bit, and applying weight on the bit for drilling. Drill string functions are a lot more, but it depends on what you must do. It can allow formation evaluation and testing, but special tools will do this for such applications. The drill string is made up of several sections, with the drill pipe being the longest. The bottom hole assembly, BHA, is usually no longer than 1,000 feet. Each joint of drill pipe comprises of the pipe body and the tool joint, which connects the sections of drill pipe. At one end of the pipe is the box with the female end of the connection, while the male end of the connection, known as the pin, is at the other end of each length of the drill pipe. Tube OD, nominal weight, pipe grade, type of tool joint, thread connection, and classification generally describe drill pipe components. The practice of using heavyweight drill pipe in the drilling industry has gained wide acceptance. These pipes usually have a greater wall thickness than regular drill pipes. They are commonly utilized at the bottom of the drill pipe where there is a high stress concentration. Considering the number of pipe joints that should be run in the transition zone is crucial. Based on successful field experience, using a minimum of 18 to 21 joints of HWDP between the drill collars and the regular drill pipe in vertical holes is recommended. It is common to use 30, 30, or more joints in directional holes. Drill collars are tubulars that are heavy enough to apply weight to the drill bit. They help keep the drill string in tension reducing bending stresses and failures caused by fatigue. Furthermore, drill collars provide stiffness in the bottom hole assembly, BHA, allowing for better directional drilling control. In reality, not all drill pipe weight sits down on the drill bit. There is buoyancy in the mud, which reduces the downward force by around 20%. Also, because of the pipe's long length, the drill string's upper part is in tension, whilst the lower part is in compression. In fact, if we allowed all of the weight of the drill pipe to push down, it would buckle and twist and send the bit off drilling in the wrong direction. One of the drill collar's types are the spiral drill collar. They are designed with a spiral groove on the outer surface to reduce the friction between the drill collar and the borehole, allowing for smoother and more efficient drilling. There is also another type called non-magnetic drill collars. These collars are made from non-magnetic materials such as aluminum or titanium, to minimize interference with sensitive instruments used in drilling operations, such as magnetic survey tools. Understanding the types and characteristics of drill collars is essential for successful drilling operations. The drilling bit is at the bottom of the drill pipe, and is chosen in accordance with the hardness of the formation to be drilled. It can be one of several types. The most common types are roller cone bits and diamond bits. Roller cone bits usually have three or four cone-shaped steel noses that are free to turn as the bit rotates with rows of teeth or cutters in each cone. As the bit rotates the teeth in the cone cut or gouge the rock or formation as the cone rolls over it, the teeth may be of made of steel alloy or a tungsten carbide insert fitted to holes machined into the cones. Diamond bits are not of the same structure as roller bits. Instead of roller cones, they are embedded with small industrial diamonds into the sides and bottom of the single fixed head that rotates with the whole drill string. They work using a shearing or slicing motion, unlike the gouging action of the cone bits, and can be used for soft, medium or hard formations. The only downfall of the diamond bit is the higher cost, but this can be argued against the longer life that it can give, resulting in fewer bit changes. The bottom hole assembly consists of various components like drilling bit, stabilizers, reamers, jars and shock subs, all crucial for breaking rock formations, centralizing the drill string, and minimizing drilling issues. Its design must consider factors like total depth, hole size, and mud weight. Efficient drill string design is essential for delivering weight to the bit, providing strength under dynamic conditions, and minimizing hole stability issues. 
Factors like pipe weights, grades, and corrosive environments must be considered for successful drilling operations. Proper care of the drill string involves minimizing damage during operations and implementing effective inspection routines to prevent failures. Rig operations like handling, tripping, and maintenance of tools are critical for protecting the drill string from damage and ensuring operational efficiency. In conclusion, understanding the components, functions, design, and care of the drill string is crucial for successful drilling operations in the oil and gas industry. By following best practices and maintaining the drill string effectively, operators can enhance drilling performance and efficiency. Thank you for watching our guide on drill string components in oil and gas. Until next time, keep exploring.